Welcome to Color Up. Today I have a little bit of a grinder strategy for you. So you're kind of going to go back and forth, but if the dice do go in your favor, you can color up. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'd like to thank Brian Adler for submitting this strategy as part of my dice advice series. And he likes to call this the 32 don't across. And I'll show you why. So what he does is he'll start with a $32 don't pass bet. Now, obviously you gotta avoid the seven or 11 and get a point established. Let's say the point seven. At that point, he's going to then bet all the way across or $32. Now this is, he, this is, he gave me the example on a $5 table. I'm gonna do a live roll in a minute here and I'll do it at a $10 level, but just to show you how the strategy works. So 32 don't, 32 across. What this means at this point, we don't care if a seven happens, we'll just break even. Now, once the puck is on, what you really wanna do is avoid the point. So whatever it is, you wanna avoid that number. Ideally, you get a few hits on the other numbers first, and then if the point does hit, it's not gonna be the end of the world. Again, the seven, we're not worried about. So let's say the six hits, and he always just takes them down. So the six stars will pay seven, and he's just gonna take that down. And then maybe the nine pays, five will pay seven, and we'll take that down. And he says you're really hoping to hit three numbers. So maybe, you know, maybe we hit the four and we get paid 10 or nine, we'll say five dollars will pay nine, or we'll pay out 10 for one. And then let's say the seven then rolls. So we'll, we'll lose this money here, this 21, but we'll get paid 32 on our don't pass line. So this is what we invested on the don't. This is what we invested on our place bet. So our profit here, 10, 20, 30, $34. So again, avoid the come out seven. And then after that, you wanna get a couple hits before you hit that point. Now I know $5 tables are pretty rare nowadays. So I'm gonna go ahead and show this at a $10 table. Now he suggested a bankroll of 150. So we're gonna go ahead and buy in for 300. Let's see, one, two, three. And we'll, we'll give it a try with that. All right, to go across all the numbers at a $10 table, it's gonna be 64. So let's go ahead and start with 64 in the don't pass. 64 is an odd number. We'll go ahead and make it $65. I did forget to mention one other thing. He said once you do have some profit, and your point is on an even number, you can go ahead and hedge your don't pass with a hard way if you'd like. All right, here we go. Let's avoid, and let's get a point established. Eight, eight easy, all right? Don't go into the eight. And then we have basically 64, so we'll go 64 across. Let's go ahead and give the dealer 75, and we'll get 11 and change. And here we go, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then the caps for our six and eight, 64. So now we gotta hit a couple numbers. Again, we're not worried about the seven, 10, that'll drop and be called a 10. Though my dice rolled, it would have been a 10. We're hoping to hit a number, a couple hits before we, you know, if we're gonna hit that eight. All right, so 10. It's gonna pay 18, and we'll go ahead and bring that down. Grab some more nickels here, and keep rolling. Let's hit a couple more if we can. Six, six hard, All right? 12, it's gonna pay 14, and we'll just, we're gonna take that down. So we're getting to where we're kind of safe. Let's get at least one more. Three, three craps, all right, we don't have a bet on that. 10, 10 easy. We no longer have the six or the 10. 10 hard. You know, obviously you can adapt the strategy any way you want if you wanna leave some stuff up there. Six easy. We're just rolling the same numbers over and over again. 
which is not how this we want this strategy to go. All right, there's the nine that that's good for us. So again, 10 will pay 14. I'm gonna go ahead and pay 15, whoops, 15 for one. Go ahead and pull that down. And really off those three hits, we have enough money. We're not really worried about hitting the point so much. Ideally, we'll hit a couple more. Maybe we can knock these rest off. Um, and then the seven would actually, the seven would be more favorable to us than the eight, which is good news because there's more combinations. But we'll see what happens. All right, there's the seven right there. All right, so the rest of these will come down. What do we lose here? So 32, we're gonna lose. But we're gonna win 65 down here and the puck is gonna come off. So we did all right. So we'll set that back up and we'll just go 65 again. And we're gonna have a new shooter. You know, some people betting this amount, they might, you know, hedge it with an any seven or hop the sevens or, you know, maybe something on the yo. We're just gonna hope and pray here. Dice off the table, no roll. Six, six hard. All right, out on that six. Again, uh, we could just drop the dealer 64, so 50, 60, 64 to the dealer. Let's get them set up. All right, 64. Here we go, let's hit a couple numbers. Nope, that is not what you wanna see. So we hit our six, so we're gonna lose our 65, and we're only get, gonna get paid 14 here. Oh my God, I got all kinds of mess here. And we're gonna pay out 15 for one, just to make it simple. But it's not the end of the world, we hit our point. He doesn't really describe what to do in this scenario, whether you go back up on the don't. Um, because I'm in the kind of the same hand, same shooter, I might just ride it out. He hit our point off once and then, you know, knocked our don't. Maybe we can win enough off of our place bets. So let's see what happens here. All right, 10. So the points, new point's gonna be 10. That would've been a good one for our don't. Puck's on. Place bets are working. Here we go. Oh, just brutal. All right, there's the seven. So there we hit a, we knocked off our 64 or 65 and we took down our 65 here, or 64. So worst case scenario. Now we're in the hole and we got to do some catching up. Again, he may have, he just didn't explain in his instructions if he would have went back up or not, I'm not really sure. All right, so let's go ahead and go 65 on the don't. We're gonna have a new shooter. And here we go. Six, I'm trying to think through if I would always put that back up, I probably would. All right, back out on that six, so let's go 30. 40, 50, 60, and we got the change, yep, 64 to the dealer. I'm gonna set you up, 64 across. Again, we're not worried about the seven. What we're worried about is rolling that point back. All right, here we go. Need to hit a few numbers. All right. As you guys know here at Color Up, I like to embarrass strategies. <laughs> Every strategy gets rolled once, and that's just how it goes sometimes. So our $12 is gonna win 14 here. Buck's gonna come off. So what do we do here in this situation? Uh, do we go back up on that 65? I said I would, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's do 25, 50. We'll change those out. 65. All right, same shooter, here we go. And four, four easy. Four is gonna be our point. It's a pretty good one for the don't. All 
but you never know, especially the way I'm rolling. All right, let's hit a couple numbers before we seven out, hopefully. All right, there's the five. 10 is going to pay 14. I'm going to pay out 15 for one. And we're going to take that down. I'm just going to, that's a quarter, so I'm just going to change it in a quarter. Dealer's going to color them up in the middle of the game here. All right, let's hit a couple more. Nine, there we go. Again, it's going to pay 14. I'm going to pay out 15. I'm going to deal for one, 15 for one, and then pull that down, which is going to color up to 25. All right, need at least one more here. All right, seven. Again, not the end of the world, but it's just a little bit of a grind here because let's see, we're going to lose 44 here, and we're going to get paid 65. 50. 65. All right, so let's go ahead and rack that. Go back up at 65. Puck is off. We're going to have a new shooter. And here we go, coming out. Let's see, a craps number for a win would be nice. Six. Ideally, you want to avoid the middle ones, but you never know what the dice are going to do. All right, so let's go ahead and do... Um, We'll just drop the dealer 75, go 64 across, please. So you'll get 11 and change. Let me set that up. All right, here we go. Let's hit a couple, hit a couple numbers. Five, fever five. All right, 10 is gonna pay 14. I'm gonna pay out 15 for one. And pull that down and again I'm just going to swap it for a green for the player. Here we go. Seven. Okay there see we only hit one got one hit so we only made a profit of, uh, of what was that fourteen dollars. So all this is going to come down are so this is be 54 and we're going to win back 65. So Again, that's where the grind comes into play. All right, but that's okay. Win's a win. So we'll rack that up. New shooter. So the more numbers you hit before that seven comes, the better off you are. Two aces, that'll help us a little bit. So two and three is gonna win. 12 is just a push, but we're gonna win 65 there. All right. We like that. All right, here we go. Same shooter coming out. Yo, 11, and we gave it right back. Ugh. All right, 7 or 11, this will lose. So down comes 65, and we'll go back up for 65. Here we go. Same shooter. Looking for a point. No, 7. All right. Not good. Now we're really giving it back. So we're going to lose 65. Go back up for 65. Come on, shooter. Let's give me a point. Four or 10 would be nice. Oh, back on that six again. Six easy. All right, so we need 50, 60. Let's give the dealer 65. Let's go 64 across. So a dollar and change. Eh. Clean up my stacks here a little bit. So as you can see, our uh, our stack was doing okay for a second there, and then now we're dwindling. All right, here we go. We need a few few hits. No, exactly break even. Well, we won a dollar. Sixty four comes down, and we win sixty five. So we'll just set that right there. We'll need it for the next shooter. Seven out. All right. Again, the seven's not what hurts us. What hurts us is hitting the point. Eight, eight easy. Point's gonna be eight. We'll just give that 65 back to the dealer. There's our dollar. All right, 
here we go. Give it a try. Eight hit our point and not what we wanted to see. So down it comes. And we almost don't even have enough. So the puck's gonna come off. We don't, I don't know if we have, a, we probably have enough, but we're getting, uh, we're getting killed here. Let's see, 25, 50, 65. Well, that's too many. There we go. Yeah, that, that looks more like it. There we go. So 50, change that out. All right, we'll give it, I mean, we're, we're basically all in for this, so. Seven on the come out. We are, I mean, there's nothing you can do. I mean, uh, that's how it goes sometimes. These strategies, it's kind of hard to tell if it's good or bad when the dice seem to be only going bad for you. Um, well, we're out kind of, we don't even have enough. So we got 25 here. We'll go $25 don't. Let's see what happens here. Seven, of course, of course. So we'd lose that. And if we're the shooter, we got to have a line bet. We'd have to pull some money down here. So I think we'll go ahead and just uh, wave the white flag here. Uh, get our 64 back. Let's throw in a dollar and get our 65 back. Oh, my chips are falling. So we're 65 back, you know, give some. So we got a, we ended up with 68 here. So we didn't really go grind much out. I don't know if you could see the potential. I could see it a little bit. Um, but again, those frontline winners were a killer. And, uh, you know, I was rolling pretty good. I hit some points. So anyway, that's the strategy. Just like any other strategy, the dice got to go in your favor. This one, you take big hits and you're trying to grind out little wins. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. But I appreciate you submitting the strategy to me. And however you like to play, good luck on coloring up.